Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Owls and Indigo and I make videos about spirituality, journaling, mental health, goal setting, and the moon. Today it's time for my monthly plan with me. So let's get into this September daily planner and spiritual goal setting plan with me. I feel like September is a month where I start to descend back into myself and tend to do a little more self-reflection for the rest of the year. So that's why I chose this illustration. This is a watercolor eye. Uh, the design is based off of a pin that I saw on Pinterest. And I felt that it was just perfect for this beginning of the descent back into myself for self-reflection for the month of September, especially with the fall equinox coming up. This is my two page second harvest spread. This is where I do goal setting with my husband eight times a year. The theme for this moon is gather gratitude and give thanks. And on the fall equinox, I will be writing out my challenges for the upcoming months, my goals, and then how I'm going to achieve them. It's a really nice way to bond as a couple and to talk about our joint goals and then also our goals as individuals. So this is a practice that we make sure that we always do and is very special to us. This is my lunar spread. I've been trying to keep it more accessible this month and last month, and I created my own moon phase stamps. So if you wanna see how I did those, make sure you subscribe because that video is gonna be coming out soon. And on each moon phase, I write a feeling-based intention that propels my goals throughout the entire lunar month. And now I'm just working on my little tracker to make sure I say my mantras every day and check in. And this is another little eye. And now I'm creating the fold out pieces to this lunar spread. I've been having a lot of fun with watercolor lately and it just felt fun and messy to get in there with this. For my new moon beginning spread, I have to have, to do, and to be. And on the back side of that, I'm going to be writing out my spiritual goals for the year. That way they're top of mind every time I look at this page. And on the opposite side, I have our theme for the lunar month, gather gratitude and give thanks. And this is my mantra maker. The prompts that I use are I am, I can, I will, and I've set these goals to... And on the back side of this, I have my full moon check-in and my balsamic moon review.
and now I'm moving on to some more fun messy watercolors. This is going to be my September daily draw. Last month my daily draws were really popular and so I wanted to make sure that I carried that over this month again. In each of these little squares, I'm going to be drawing something every single day. Last month I really, really enjoyed having a mental inventory page as opposed to a brain dump page. This is a place where they're going to live for the entire month and I'll know exactly where to go so I can come back and find those ideas. And I won't have to worry about them anymore. I can just write them down and let them go until I have time to actually complete the tasks or to take action on any of the things that I have written down on my mental inventory page. And now I've got some more messy watercolors. I really, really enjoy doing the watercolors like this. And I like how grungy it turns out in the end and how it sort of bled through underneath the sticky notes that I had as templates. This spread is going to be my September monthly overview. I have all of the dates. I'm using the smallest size of my moon phase stamps. And the bottom boxes I'll be using for creative tasks, personal tasks, and then I'm going to leave the third one open, and then the very last one will be any upcoming dates for the future months. This is my first weekly spread. Make sure you subscribe so you catch all of my weekly spreads. I do them every single week so you can see the different layouts that I come up with. and we're getting towards the end of my monthly spreads. This is where I do all of my journaling and my reflecting. I'll have my September spirituality prompt, which I'm gonna be sharing with you in just a second. Down below, I have what I've learned, how I've challenged myself, what is a time saver and what isn't, and what am I most grateful for? I also have monthly prompts for Unravel Your Month that I do for my words for the year, flux and flow. And now I'm just working on my leftovers page. I like to have a place for my tasks that I didn't finish for the month uh, to make sure that I get them in for the next month. So I'll write all of them down here so I can easily find them and transfer them for the next month. And now it's time for our September spirituality prompt. Before we get into the final flip through, let's talk about this month's journaling and spirituality prompt. Last month we talked about what makes you feel enlightened and uplifted. And this month I'd like you to make a list of your values. Make sure you include what you think is right and what you think is wrong.
You can catch me over on Instagram at Indigo. that's where I am most, or on the website owlsandindigo.com, where I share weekly spirituality tips, journaling prompts, little tidbits about the moon and how to move through the lunar phases with your goal setting, mental health awareness, and my story. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything, and click that little bell so you're notified every time I post a video. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.